What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But we're going back to Glee again. And more specifically, we are going back to Grant Gustin and the Warblers. Uh, last I saw Grant, he was doing a smooth criminal duet with Santana, which was great. I was like, man, this guy can cover Michael Jackson. And I found in my recommended videos that him and the Warblers performed the Jackson 5 hit, I Want You Back, which is just a great song. It's an awesome song. It's one of the Jackson 5's biggest hits. I'm pretty sure one of their first hits, too, when they went to uh, Motown Records. And it's a classic song. Everybody has heard it. Everybody, I would say most people, really enjoy it. You know, it's been, yeah, a great song since it came out in, like, the mid-60s. Um, but it's going to be a little bit different than Smooth Criminal. Smooth Criminal was, you know, adult Michael Jackson, grown man Michael Jackson. And this is going to be, God, I think Michael was like 9 or 10 when this came out. So a much higher register. But it is the Jackson 5s. So we're going to get a lot of cool, like, background vocals, I'm hoping. And hopefully a really fun, like, dancey number. Because there are so many fucking warblers. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and check it out. to myself I didn't want you around those pretty faces always make you stand out in a crowd someone picked you from a bunch with glances all they took and now it's much too late for me to take a second look <laughs> live without your love There's one more sleepless night Let me show you, girl That I know wrong from right Every street you walk on I leave tear stains on the ground Following the girl I didn't even want around Oh, baby, all I need Is one more chance Well, if you guys want to forfeit now, go ahead. <laughs> Lane, if you want to rejoin the group you abandoned. I used to be really proud of being a warbler. Not because we were good, but because we were really classy. None of that was classy. Nothing. Come on, guys, let's go. Ooh! And what did you think, Shaquira? Thought you sucked, Fievel. And if that's your best MJ, I'm gonna wipe the floor at regionals with your wannabe Disney Prince haircut. Oh! What'd you really think? I think we got serious problems. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Trash talking is, is, is wonderful. Uh, and now I know. So Darren was with the Warblers and then he left to go to the traditional Glee Club. The Glee Club that we all know from season one. Um, yeah, that was really good. They definitely do have problems if they're going up against them. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get big. All right, so first off, the uh, the wah, wah, wah guy, he was doing work. He was putting in overtime and it was great. Like through the entire damn song. 
Uh, I don't know which one of the warblers that was, but I, I heard you, buddy, and I, I appreciate it. Uh, the bass section was really good, and in a song like this, very bass heavy, uh, it's an incredibly important section. And I'm sure the eight basses that the warblers had had a lot of fun with this, and it sounded like it. It's, it, was, it was incredibly well done. Honestly, this whole arrangement was very, very good, which I have come to expect from Glee, aside from that one number, the Sir Mix-a-Lot cover. Uh, like, the choreography was great. The choreography was wonderful. And I love when they do choreography in, like, a small area, like, inside of a room like that. Because it just, it looks so cool when, like, in that one shot, all within, like, 20 feet, you've got 20 different people all doing this choreography. It looks, in my eyes at least, it looks more impressive when they're closer together. Uh, that might just be me. Um, not that I don't like big numbers where everybody's spread apart doing, you know, the choreography. But yeah, something about small spaces and a lot of people dancing always looks just so impressive to me. I think part of it might be because it's really easy to tell when people are behind. And when you see a number where everybody is like in perfect lockstep, like mechanical military precision, it's, it's so impressive. That's why I love the Jabberwockies, the, the dance crew. They're so good because they're so precise. And yeah, I definitely caught that from this. It was, it was just so much fun. And Kurt, I don't know what the hell his problem is. He looked pissed and then he looked constipated, and then he looked angry again. I, I, I don't understand what was going on here. Uh, I don't really care. I'm sure it was dramaful, but I just loved that look on his face. Uh, and really, like, these performances just make me wish that there was less drama in Glee. Not that this one had a lot of it or anything like that. Honestly, I thought the dialogue after the song uh, was funny and really entertaining. Uh, just in general, because then I would have kept watching this show. Because the numbers are great. The numbers are absolutely wonderful. And it just, yeah, it makes me sad that I was so turned off by that drama that I didn't get to watch this while it was coming out. I really liked Grant's voice. Uh, once again, he impresses me. It just keeps happening. Uh, I really need to see more of this dude. I am probably going to have to watch The Flash. Uh, even though he's not singing in more than, like, one episode. Uh, he just seems like such a nice, like, decent, likable dude that even though I'm not a big comic book fan, I think that him being the Flash would definitely, like, kind of help me work past that. Uh, and the backing harmonies, too, like, uh, the other warblers in this song, so good. Like, I feel bad for the ones that are just kind of there for filler, because they don't necessarily get screen time, like time right in front of the camera, but they're still so good and so important to the overall sound of the Warblers. I mean, not quite as important if it was a smaller group, but still, like, these are some awesome world-class singers, and it's so cool that they got a show for, like, six months. Uh, or six years, six seasons. Um, but yeah, that was that was great. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. These Glee reactions are an awful lot of fun. Any other great performances, please let me know down in the comments, uh, be they actual, like, regionals performances or just them singing in, like, their classroom or whatever. I would love to take a look as long as they're good. Um, but yeah, uh, I will see you all in a reaction very soon. Thank you.